Hello, Jesmond Harding here. I'm representing Butterfly Conservation Ireland. I'm a conservationist and I've also written the book, The Irish Butterfly Book, and I'm here at one of the sites that feature in my book. This is Britta's Bay. It's a really beautiful site here. And I've just seen a, a dark green fertility flying across here, female. And it's a really good place for butterflies. It has fixed dunes, decalcified dunes where the calcium has been washed out by heavy rain. It has embryonic dunes, which are dunes that are just forming. And it has dune slacks, which are dunes that have a lot of damp sand in them. So it's a really good site for butterflies and we're going to be bringing you along to see what's here and what's available here in British Bay and County Wicklow. And it's a beautiful summer's day here. It's an early July 2024 and we're really lucky. It's one of these beautiful Irish summer, summer's days where it's just perfect. Skies are blue, light breezes, a rare thing I have to say this summer, but I hope you're going to enjoy and what I'm going to find or, well, I should say what I hope to find because you just never know. And we'll be going in this direction. And you can see the wonderful habitats here. Right, so as I said earlier, we're in British Bay in County Wicklow. And just to give you an idea of the resources that a rare butterfly dark green fertility needs. And if you look down here, you'll see this plant here is wild thyme and it's a beautiful native wildflower and dark green fertility feeds on this plant and over here just beside the wild thyme is common dog violet and common dog violet is the larval food plant for the dark green fertility so the, the caterpillar breeds on this so you have both the breeding plant and an important nectar plant here in the same place so it's a really really great habitat for that species I've already seen two female dark green fertility so we're doing well already despite the fact that this July hasn't been very good for butterflies but it's seemingly maintaining a healthy population here and if we look over here we can see a range of dune types we have eroding dunes here to my right and dune slack here to my left dune slacks are dunes that have more moisture in them and are not subject to as much erosion so we're going to continue on now and let's see what we can see I'm here in British Bay in County Wicklow and I'm just showing you this bed of wild thyme and the golden flowers here of lesser hawkbit or lesser hawkweed I can never actually remember the name it's one of these things I always check later and over here we have ladies bed straw and carline thistle which is a plant characteristic of calcareous conditions so it's a beautiful flower rich area here and no wonder the dark green fertilities feel at home here because it's a species strongly associated with flower rich habitat and actually there's some willow here as well and also burnet rose so it's really really beautiful habitat and it's actually extremely relaxing just being here here in the gentle sound of the waves crashing onto the shore just behind me so a beautiful place to be in as well as a, a wonderful habitat for rare butterflies now here I am again in an eroding dune and one of the things about eroding dunes is you get colonizing plants like thyme you get these mats of bright purple and it looks really magnificent and there are plenty of bees on them as well at this point I have seen eight dark green fertilities and uh, why haven't I shown you any of them well they've just been zooming by and any that did feed were feeding on plants like spear thistle and marsh thistle and they just fed stabbed their proboscis in wildly for a few seconds and darted away so I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you any but they're certainly around I've eight already and um, I'm hoping to see more and maybe get close enough to get a photograph Now, I'm in an area here where there are spear thistles, as you can see. And they look like spears because they have long spikes. And marsh thistles, which are over here. And I have just seen dark green fertility 
feeding on both plants. There were two females and one male and having descended the hill where Alex is, Alex is my cameraman for today, having descended the hill where Alex is, they let, the butterflies let me get all the way down the hill and then they flew away. And um, I, I thought the females might come back because they, they sometimes spend a lot of time feeding. And Alex described me as a desperate male who needs to move on when I said maybe the females will come back. But they haven't, so um, I do need to move on. So that's what I'm going to do. Now I'm looking at dark green fritillary here, it's flying around. I don't know if it's going to settle. I'm just trying to follow it with the camera. It's actually a female, it's quite worn, I think. Well, maybe it isn't a female, hold on. I really need to land. No, he's, it's, it's very unsettled. Oh, wait a minute. Now, there, landed at last. And um, it's so worn, but I think it's a male. He's just taking a brief break from his search for a female. They flutter around the sand dunes looking for females pretty much all day. And he's closed his wings and opened them again. And he's beginning his fluttering flight, his search flight, looking for a mate. Uh, there he is again. Again, scouring the hills, the sand hills, looking for a mate. And uh, I've noticed actually the females look a lot fresher than the males, so the males have obviously emerged earlier than the females on this particular site. So we might see some more as we go. There's a dark green fertility here. Again, it's a male, and he's pretty worn out, but he's still flitting around quite active and he's busy feeding at the moment on nipple wort and other flowers. Oh, he's on rest harrow at the moment and now he's on lesser hawk bit and now he's taken off to go for a search. So they tend to snatch it's a pit stop really, it's a, it's a quick snatch of nectar and then they're off again. So, and over here he seems to have shown interest in something in the vegetation and it might just be a meadow brown but it could be a female so let's have a look aha it is a female here she is low down and she's flown off there she goes and she obviously already mated which is why she wasn't receptive to his attentions so i think we're up to 14 dark green fertilities now so that's really excellent right here i am further north in british bend you can see Now, I don't want to pretend everything's perfect here. If you look over here, there's a dense, really dense stand of an invasive plant called sea buckthorn. Sea buckthorn is a non-native invasive species, and you can see in some areas there's 100% coverage of that plant. It absolutely dominates everything else. It's a disaster for biodiversity on the dunes, and really, as a special area of conservation, this threat to the integrity of the habitats here really needs to be challenged. So, National Parks and Wildlife Service, if you're listening, get busy. Right, here I am here in British Bay, and I'm at the very northern end of the dune system here in British Bay. And it ends just over here, where there's a, a hill and it's, it's covered in, in scrubby vegetation. There's a caravan park here. If you look back over here, you'll see we're looking at eroding dunes, which are different to the dune slacks where we saw the dark green fertilities. And this area here is really, really covered in fescue grasses. You can see a lot of the, the dry senescent material here, dead material, really good for small heath butterfly for breeding. And also kidney vetch, which is absolutely everywhere here. And in fact, there is a small blue population in this area. I think we're probably too late to find it at this stage, but the only place on the dunes and bridges where I found it is at the northern end of the dunes. So I've come to the end of the walk here. Um, 
I might draw your attention to some other features of interest on the way back. But in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this video. Now, I'm on my way back from the northern end of the dunes. And just to show you what decalcified dunes look like. Uh, plenty of bracken here and no sign of any thyme despite the availability of bare ground and regenerating ground because thyme requires calcareous sand. So here we have an example of decalcified dunes where the calcium has been washed out by the rain. We're looking here at Cinnabar moth caterpillars on ragwort and we're back now at the southern car park for British Bay and we're at the end of our walk now I hope you've enjoyed this presentation and um, if you enjoyed what you've seen please pop a like on the video and please consider subscribing to my channel and um, it's a wonderful place to ramble the ground is a bit demanding but good walking shoes and you, you will be emptying sand out from time to time. But in the summertime, the dunes are actually quite quiet despite the popularity of the site. And it's actually really good for butterflies. I saw at least 14 dark green artilleries. I saw common blues, small heaths, meadow browns, ringlets, and we're still quite early in the summer season. So I hope you enjoyed it. See you again soon.